around having people underneath her, in between the pool and the house, holding out a quilt just in case she didn't jump out far enough, but she did not wait for us to get ready. She just got on the ledge and she jumped. And I, I wasn't trying to fix her wing. I was trying to grab her and pull her back inside and I was not laughing. I was saying, Mary Beth, don't go yet. But it was like she had a death wish or something. She just got on the ledge and she fucking jumped. It was the worst sound I've ever heard. When she hit the ground, it just went crunch. And that was it. And then it was people screaming and running and everyone trying to leave as fast as they could, but they were all blocking each other so they'd pull out a little bit and then honk and <sighs> I knew she was gonna die. I knew it. <sighs> I deserve to die. <sighs> I swear. I swear. Well, I laid down and I looked up at the clouds and I didn't exactly ask God to kill me. I, well, well, I do not believe in a God. So I used your God. So I laid down and I looked up at the clouds and I said, Sterling's God, if you feel that it is the right time to take my life, then use this as an opportunity to send a coral snake to come and bite me, preferably near a vein so it won't take too long. And then I laid there like that for an hour more. But about halfway through, I had realized that I shouldn't have said any of that stuff out loud. See, I should have just thought it because the vibrations of my voice probably scared away all of the coral snakes. So when nothing happened, I came back up here. And that is why I am all dirty. <laughs>